I want to start by talking about basic right hand and left hand technique with the guitar. So um, the first thing we want to talk about is the, uh, the pick, holding the pick. And it's best to pretend that the pick is like your, your fingernail of your right hand index finger and then move it to the side of the finger and kind of gently clamp down on the, uh, the pick with your thumb. So it's between your thumb and index finger. And then you want to angle the pick forward or backwards, depending on your preference slightly, so that the pick strikes the string at an angle. Um, if the string is here, you want the pick to come down through it like that or like that. This will create a better guitar tone, uh, give you more expressivity, and also let you play a lot faster when needed. Um, but with the left hand, it's very important that you place the fingertips on the uh, on the string uh, for the tone. So spend a little bit of time, especially with the fourth finger. These are the fingers of the guitar, by the way, uh, in the left hand. One, two, three, and four. Uh, to make sure that you're playing on the tip of the finger. This uh, greatly improves the tone of your playing and also allows you to, to play faster and um, avoid hitting wrong notes. So uh, whether you're a beginner or an expert player, make sure that you focus on this as you start these exercises. And with the guitar pick, it's very important that you angle your pick either forward or backwards through the string with your right hand when you're doing alternate picking. This will make it much easier to play fast passages and get a good tone. If you play with just the flat part of the pick, you're going to need to exert a lot of energy as you move through the string. The next thing I'd like to mention is keeping relaxed in general, but also especially with your right arm when you're doing alternate picking. Many players tend to seize up and tense up their arms when they're playing a fast piece of music or when they get to a difficult section of a song. So when you're practicing, just work into your, those sections that you'll relax, that you'll take a deep breath or breathe regularly, and just, um, just in general try to keep from tensing up your arm because if you tense your arm up, it's going to be much more difficult to keep a good rhythm, tone, and also execute the passage. So this first exercise is aimed at coordinating both hands, and it's basically a very simple alternate picking exercise that's going to use the first and second fingers in the left hand. And we're just going to use up and down strums or strokes. Um, I prefer to start with up strokes for um, most scale passages, but that's a personal preference. You can also just try uh, using a downstroke. So um, for the sake of this lesson, maybe I'll say downstroke, then upstroke. Um, so it's kind of arbitrary where you, we start the, this exercise, but let's just start on the third string, the G, on the second fret. That's a note A. And we're going to be playing an A and a B flat. So it'll be down, then up. Kind of the Jaws theme, this. Okay, so, but back to the uh, the A note here. It's just down, up, down, up, and then you'll play that four times in a row, and then move the hand one fret higher. So, and, and you can use a metronome for this, and uh, gradually speed up. The, the click on the metronome, and you should try it on all the strings, that kind of 